Well, hello. Here we're going to talk about music for dancing. It's not something that I normally talk about at my age. If you've been to my shows at the 100 Club in the dim and distant past and at the borderline, I used to DJ. And um, for that and after that, there's a man called Boss Goodman, who I've done a video about. There's a link up there somewhere. And he was the best DJ for this classic soul and blues stuff from the 1960s. Now, it's very likely that some of these are ones I stole from him, or maybe he stole them from me. Of course, I don't hold copyright to these tracks, so YouTube don't like you at using them unless you do hold copyright. So I've got to be careful, but you can find all these tracks on YouTube and on things like iMusic and Amazon Prime. So let's get going. Let's see what we got. You're ready? Number one. It's about a mover by the Sir Douglas Quintet, which featured Doug Sarm and Augie Myers on the organ, which gave it its special feel. It was recorded in San Antonio in Texas in 1965 and became a huge cult hit, especially in Texas. People who are in the know say, does it sound a bit like one of the Beatles songs? This is a song I remember Boss playing. It always went down well, especially with the dancing. It wasn't particularly a big hit. It's Camel Talk by the Ikets, released in 1964. In the 1920s, it was danced by people in a group. It was revived in the 1950s and 60s, and it was for people to, to dance individually. And here's James Brown on stage doing the camel walk. <laughs> And later, Michael Jackson stole the camel walk and turned it into the moonwalk. What a bounder. Don't get to look at my Patreon page, by the way. That's what keeps me going. Just a pound a month or something, and that's all I need. Or just like these videos or just subscribe. That'd be good enough. Thank you. Now back to the music. Non-stop music. Three. Jerk by the Capitals is the song that you would get everybody on the dance floor. I definitely stole this from Boss Goodman because I can remember going to Dingwalls and the minute he put this on, the whole dance floor filled up and I found pretty much the same thing. In fact, I often found that people cheered when you were playing it. You don't often get that. It was originally going to be called Pimp Jerk because the guy who wrote it, he was a member of the band, was watching pimps dancing and they couldn't be bothered to dance much so they just moved their arms. But the record company thought it wouldn't really go down very well, wouldn't get much airplay, called Pimp Jerk. When you're nearing things, when you're tearing things. Four. Pussycat by Sylvia is one of the later records that Boss used to play. I think when he first got hold of it, it was a hot import in the 1970s. I think 1976 when he came out. It's not typical of the sort of stuff he used to play, but it was the sort of thing that used to get keep the dance floor going. I've never played it personally, but I um, checked out something Boss wrote about his days as a DJ, and I thought, yes, I remember him playing this back in the 1970s, and it, it had the right effect, yes. Time hits, keep coming on. Five. It's your place. Do what you want to do now. The Icy Brothers had lots more better known hits than It's Your Thing, but this is possibly my favourite for dancing. It's Your Thing was their reply to Berry Gordy of Motown Records after they left his label after a tour of the UK where they saw they were more popular than any other act on the Motown label and decided that he was being too controlling. So they decided to leave. He basically threatened to sue them as a way to get them back. This is their answer. He didn't sue them, but they stayed on their own and they all end up as friends. But it's Certainly one of the best Isley Brothers tracks. To my mind, a better dance record than um, this old heart of mine. But that's just me. What do I know? Remember you heard it. Right. 
follow and dance to it a long time ago. Now's your chance to relive it with living radio. Thanks for watching. It wouldn't have been the same without you. Please like, subscribe, follow, etc. Don't forget to check out my Patreon page and I hope to see you next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.